Resurrection Sunday, as Christians know it, is approaching this week. And um, I'm always thinking about what Resurrection Sunday really means. I know the world calls it Easter and the world celebrates it by doing, you know, Easter egg hunts and giving out Easter baskets and they talk about the Easter bunny and all those types of things to each his own if they want to celebrate the Easter bunny and have all the activities that are associated with the bunny, the Easter bunny, the candy and the, the goodies and all the things that they like to give the children. I actually had that when I was a kid too. So I mean, I'm not judging people who want to do all that. But as far as I'm concerned, as far as my family and most of the Christian world is concerned, Easter or Resurrection Sunday is a commemoration and celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What price would he pay for me? Jesus' life was marked by sacrifice, but no doubt his greatest sacrifice was his willingness and obedience to follow his intended mission for the sake of humanity all the way to the cross. In Matthew 26, verses 39 and 42, we can plainly see Jesus' internal struggle with his decision. He wrestled with the idea of having to die a painful death on the cross as he prayed to his Father in the Garden of Gethsemane. He humbly surrendered to the will of God anyway, out of obedience and love for mankind. And when it was time to face judgment before his sentencing and death, Jesus was a trooper. In the face of all kinds of accusations against him, Jesus remained silent. What kind of love would lead a man to intercede for the very ones persecuting and abusing him at the very point of death? Feeling excruciating pain and utter humiliation, facing the fear of certain death, feeling alone and abandoned by his father in his darkest hour, Still, love kept him on that cross. Love refused to come down from the cross to save his own life. He was committed to completing his mission. He endured the cross, despising the shame, because he was focused on the joy and the victory that lie ahead. This was the price he was willing to pay for the sins of all of humanity. Oh, how he loves you. That's the end of that passage.